Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am happy that you guys are going to be joining me tonight. I have an absolutely gorgeous card to share with you. I'm going to get you pulled up on my screen here and let some of you get in. Hi Marie, Lisa, welcome. Hi Lori, happy to see you here. Terry just popped in. Oh, I need to unpin that. Hang on, I forgot to unpin my video from yesterday. Hi Sandy, Melinda, welcome. So, we had a pretty exciting day here today. I'm going to hang tight um, on any type of announcements until people get in. So yeah, let me get you pulled up on my screen. So, I have, oh, I've got mail. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let me grab this. So I've got some really pretty mail to show you. And I think I'll do that first. So for those of you popping in, we're going to hang tight with any announcements. You know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm going to show you some of the beautiful mail that I received. So I'm going to mirror my screen because you guys told me last night that it wasn't flashing, but yet when I looked at it on my computer, it was flashing, so it was very weird. So I think I can mirror my screen so that everything is um, the right way, right? And hang on. Okay, so I got this card in the mail today. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, I love this paper. And it's a fun fold, so let me show you how it works. What? Yeah, so pretty, right? This is from Anne De Aquisto, and I love, I love saying Anne's name. Hi, Haley, I saw you just pop in here. Um, Anne said that it sounded like I needed a hug. <laughs> she says she's working 13-hour days to keep her studios busy and the office doors open, and I can certainly relate to that. She says that she prays, prays, prays for more for a day when we can go out, not feel so much anxiety, and not be so burdened. So, and thank you so much for this beautiful card. I absolutely love it. And then, hang on, I got to put things back together here. I received another beautiful card, and this one is, hang tight here, this one is from, oh, hang on. Oh, there it is. This is from Chris. I think it's Chris Jensen, if I remember correctly. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah. Haley is here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to give you guys a little update in just a second. We're going to look at pretty cards first. I'm going to wait for everybody to get on so I don't have to repeat myself so many times to let you know what's going on. So yeah, isn't it gorgeous? Another fun fold. I absolutely love this. And Chris also sent me a letter, and she said, by the time you receive this, you'll be a grandmother to Weedley, um, and or by now you'll know her real name. Remember, we had a lot of these yesterday where I said, yeah, I wish, yeah. Um, she's a great grandmother to Archer, and he's 11 months old. She said, I hope this finds you and yours healthy. Crafting with my Stampin' Up has helped me with my anxiety, and I know, right? It's great therapy. It's just great therapy. And, um, yeah, she says, thank you for your daily videos, which keep me inspired during these confusing times. Love and good health to you all. So thank you so much, Chris. I loved your card. It was really fun opening my mail today because I got quite a bit of mail. Oh, these are, these are swaps. Those I'll show to you some other time. These are swaps. I'll show those to you some other time. Ooh, this is a beautiful one. Who did I get this from? I read all of these. I always read them. Oh, this came from Wendy. So look at the beautiful inside envelope, you guys. Um, this is the poppy paper, and look at how pretty this is. Like, I love this, and I love, whoops, how she did the leaves coming out the side of the label. What a great idea. Yeah, so this is from Wendy Morse, and she has just been too sweet. Dear Kelly, happy grandparenting. It's so important to document our lives for our children, as is proof of Haley's beautiful scrapbook. If you already have a similar book, please pass it on to another grandma. Many blessings. 
look at this. I was like, I opened this up and I went, oh, look at this. Wendy, thank you so much. You are just the sweetest ever. And this is a whole journal with all kinds of stuff. Look at how pretty it is. Is this not gorgeous? And no, I do not have anything like this. I am just taken aback by your generosity. Um, it's got stuff about me and my family, and then when I was born, which is near, my family address, my birthday, my parents named me. Uh, my goodness, um, I've never seen a book like this before. And this is just a just a, such a keepsake for your family history, and I am definitely going to be um, filling that out. Hang on, Haley just said my screen is flashing. See, I thought it was last night too. Okay, so good. We're done. I'm done showing you things where you need to see them like this. So now, oh, I think we have enough people on here. Who wants to hear an update about baby Weedley? Are you guys ready? Her name is Valerie. <laughs> she was born today. Um, she weighs six pounds, two ounces. She's a tiny little thing. She is the most precious little baby. She's absolutely perfect. Um, Haley was in labor for, what did she tell me, 57 hours. Quite the little trooper there, right? And um, <clears throat> the baby was born, and she had the cord wrapped around her throat. That just about sent me right over the edge. But she's been testing above the charts on everything, so she's all good. Her and Jared just couldn't be more excited, and he was so wonderful. He took the best care of her, and I was really sad that I couldn't be there, as was his mom, because we were both supposed to be there, but um, we got to watch the whole thing on Zoom, and it was very tasteful. The camera was up, and then Haley was in the bed like this, and she was having the baby, and everything was covered up, and oh my gosh, <laughs> I just can't wait. I can't wait to hold her. and. Thank goodness she didn't go earlier, right? Because she's only six pounds, two ounces. That's, I mean, that's not like abnormally small or anything, but that's a tiny little girl. She's got the poniest little lips. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> so she had her at about, I don't know, it was 445, 449. Yeah, her name is Valerie Lee. And we're going to call her Val. Weedly. Oh, maybe. <laughs> so um, she's born, I think she was born at like 449, wasn't she, Haley? Um, yeah, and the, so the doctor told Haley that they were going to have to use the vacuum to get her out. And when she told her that, Haley pushed that baby out. And the doctor said she, that Haley was amazing. Like she was crazy amazing on pushing that baby out. So. It was just so exciting and um, just magical, really. It was it was crazy. So I have a grandbaby. She's beautiful, of course. She has these pretty little lips that you guys saw in her um, ultrasound pictures. She also had those pouty little lips, and um, yeah, she's she's just perfect. So she's already got her Cubs hat on because she will be a Cubs fan. <laughs> Oh, today, this afternoon, Diana, this afternoon she was born. So yeah, um, Haley, like I said, she did 57 hours of labor. And she called me this, I can't remember if she called me this morning at 1.30 or if we were texting back and forth at 1.30. And oh my Lord, it was 3 o'clock, I still couldn't go to sleep. And then at 6.30 she called me and said they were headed for the hospital. I think that's the time frame. But, oh my goodness, she was not in good shape at that point. Like, she was, she was beyond frantic. So, um, she got the epidural. Best thing she ever did because then she could enjoy the baby's birth and the whole experience instead of, like, dying. <laughs> right? Because we all know what that's like. Uh, yeah, so anyways, it was really cool, and um, I can't wait to meet, meet my little grandbaby. And thank you guys so much for the cards. Wendy, my goodness, thank you so much for this. This is just something that I will cherish and pass on, right? Because that's what it's for. I'm so appreciative. So, there's our exciting news, right? It was crazy. So, I thought... Oh, oh, I have I have another thing that I need to tell you. Hang on, let me set this back here. 
So I went through today. I was always waiting for my granddaughter to make her appearance. Oh, they went to the hospital. So it was 1.30 when she called me. They went to the hospital at 2 a.m. So yeah, you're right, Haley. You know how things get messed up in here. <laughs> I know it's pathetic, but um, anyways, um, I went, while I was waiting, waiting for the baby to happen, I was going through my post on my Facebook page about um, having people guess the name and the date and the weight and all of that stuff. And so I figured out who our winner was. There were several people that guessed 425, which is today. And um, so I went with the one that was closest to the right time. And that person is going to win a roll of this ribbon and also one of the little ladybug stamp sets. Yay, right? Because this is cute. My baby duck granddaughter is cute too. Um, so we have a winner and that is Maggie Bennett. And Maggie guessed 425. And um, she also guessed that the baby's name was gonna be Emily. And I knew that wasn't gonna happen because I have a niece named Emily. So good guess. Great on the dates, you guys. Thanks to everybody who participated, and I will get this out in the mail to you Monday. And Maggie, I don't know for sure if I have your address, so if you are watching and you could instant message that to me or email it to me, that would be awesome. It would save me a little time looking that up, too. So, congratulations. I'm going to set that right back there so it doesn't get lost any place. So, um, am I actually on here? Yeah. Haley's doing great. She says she feels fabulous, and I'm pretty sure they probably fed her by now. She was just really hungry. And, um, yeah, she's 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 an amazing girl, right? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So I thought it was fitting tonight that I would share with you a card that Haley actually designed. She did a lot of my designing for swaps, and we're going to be using the new Ornate Garden Suite. And um, I was in a couple different swaps with this suite so I needed a lot of cards designed and I have several more that she's made that are absolutely stunning and I'm going to be showing you one of those cards tonight and then I'm happy to report that I actually got my cards made photographs taken video done for my split coast stampers tutorial and now I have to edit all those things and put it all together but I did get some work done after I wanted to say Weedly, but oh, that doesn't really apply anymore. After Valerie was born today. So I was pretty um, twitchy as the whole thing was going on. But once she was born, then I like felt a sense of calm. Everything's good. And um, jo Joe's asking, who does Valerie look like? She looks more like Haley. She looks a lot like Haley when Haley was born. So I'll see if I can find some pictures. And once they start sending out pictures, I haven't really posted any pictures because I don't want to steal their thunder. You know what I mean? So I'm going to let her and Jared um, blast this baby all over the place. <laughs> because I know that I want to. And then I'll start sharing some pictures. And no, there was not an arm sticking out, but I'm pretty sure she needed a wheelchair to get into the hospital. I think she said her contractions were four and a half minutes apart when she finally did go. So, and again, she was pushed right to the limit with how much she could handle and it, she was over it. Like it was, she was done with all that. So it was pretty crazy. And then, you know, it's a really crummy feeling being mom that you want to be there and help and support and do what you need to do. And moms always fix everything, right? But we couldn't even go to the hospital. Jared's mom and me we were both going to go to the hospital and be in the delivery room, but that just couldn't happen. So it's darn CQ 2020 is really messing with things, right? And a lot more things than that. Um, yeah, she did have to be in a wheelchair <laughs> to get into the hospital. Yeah. So anyway, she's being very well taken care of. I was really impressed with the staff that was helping her. She had um, a nurse that st stuck with her the whole time and then right before, you know, it wasn't long before the baby was born when the doctor came in and took over and then the baby nurse came in and I was watching him in the background get the, get the little, um, 
you know, that little rolling baby bed thing made up with blankets and ready for the baby. And I was like, look, they're doing the baby bed. And it was so, it was just so cute. It was really, it was really exciting and fun. And I'm so glad that I got to be a part of it. And it was very tasteful. There was no blood and gore crotch shots or anything like that. Jared did an amazing job keeping that camera where it needed to be. And he had it on a tripod, so he wasn't distracted at all. Like, it was on a tripod, but he did good when he aimed it. And there was some times when she got a little nauseous and they thought she might throw up. He turned the camera around and turned off the volume so as to not, you know, embarrass her or whatever. I mean, he was just right on top of it. So, it was really cool. All right. Are we ready to stamp? Because I know I'm ready to stamp. I'm excited. I'm a little calmer than I was last night. Haley goes, Mom, you were like the Energizer Bunny last night. And I'm like, yes, I was. And you know, not only was I excited because, you know, there's going to be a baby shortly, we thought, but um, I had rushed home and I kind of put myself on a live because I told you guys I'd be live a little sooner than I should have because then I was really kind of like, whoa, I got to get stuff and I wasn't ready. And and then I'm like, blah, 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 blah. yeah. Oh, six pounds, two ounces. So we're glad that she didn't come any earlier because she wasn't um, she wasn't very big. They expected her to be about six and a half pounds, so they were pretty close. Um, Jared's doing great, and um, somebody else just asked me another question here. Um, wait, da, 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 uh, I can't find it. So I don't. Yeah, how much did she weigh? Six pounds, two ounces. How's Steve? Deborah wants to know how's Steve. Steve was really excited. He was like, well, I'm not watching that. That's weird, he said. <laughs> but then when I, he sat at the counter the whole time, kind of kept his head out of the Zoom view because we did a, a Zoom um, conference. And he kept his head kind of out of there so nobody really knew that he was sitting next to me. But he was watching. And I kept telling him, Steve, you're not, there's nothing you're going to see here that's weird. It's okay. And so he's like, oh, okay, you know, and oh my gosh, when they pulled that baby out, I was like, Rah! and then it was like really tense for a while, you know, because she was crying. So that was good. She has a good little voice on her, but you're kind of like, okay, is everything okay? What's going on? Is it, then I heard him say something about the cord was wrapped around her neck and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, you know, I was just almost like holding my breath for a while and <clears throat> yeah, it was no C-section, Diana. Exactly. I was so happy about that. They were going to use the vacuum, but then they didn't have to. So that was good. Kimberly says, yeah, you were energized last night. I know, you know, that's what happens when I am, um, when I have to rush. I, I like to come in here and be calm and do my things and then come on live. I know I'm not real calm anyways, but last night I was like running around and then I shouldn't have said I was coming on as early as I did because I was just too like, bah. And um, Bev wants to know, how do you spell her name? It's V-A-L-E-R-I-E. -E. So, okay. And who else? Somebody else just said, congratulations. Oh, thank you. So what is her name? It's Valerie Lee. And we're going to call her Val for short. And I think that's super cute. That I like it. It's got a, that's a catchy little name, right? Okay. I'm flipping you over. Get ready. We're going to flip. And we're gonna we're gonna make Haley's beautiful card. So hang tight, close your eyes if you get motion sickness. And I am plugged in already, and I did remember to um put my phone on do not disturb so that we won't get any phone calls tonight. And then I have to call my mom because I still haven't done that. She knows the baby was born. I told her that right away. But um I'm sure she would like to talk to me. <laughs> Haley, did you call grandma? Maybe she did. Great grandma? Now she's a great grandma. Yeah. Okay, you guys, this is a beautiful card. Like I said, we're going to be using the Ornate Garden Suite for this card. And this is a big suite. There's two different stamp sets. There's two different sets of dies. There's designer series paper that is absolutely delicious and gorgeous. The dies are on back order right now. One of them you can get, I think it's this one. If you ordered it, it says it's on back order, but you can say add it anyways to your order. The other one, the edgelets are not in stock and they're not orderable. So you can get my online class for free. It has 12 cards and a box that's really pretty. You get the online class for free when you order this suite. And if you order the suite without this set of edgelets, that's fine. You'll get them later, I guarantee it, because you're they're beautiful. 
and you will want to have them to go with this. But if you do order the suite without the edgelets, that's fine. You can still get my online class for free. I know you'll order it later, and um, it's fabulous. I have, I think, uh, about eight packs left of the pre-cut cardstock that you get for free also. So online class for free, pre-cut cardstock for free. Now, if you don't want to order the products from me, you can still get that class by um, purchasing the online class with the pre-cut cardstock pack, or you can just get the online class. It's, there's three different options. I'll put a link above the Facebook video when we're done tonight so it's easier for you to find this information on my blog right here. Okay, so we have um, Mint Macron. This is eight and a half by five and a half. Haley has already folded it and um, burnished that edge for me. So, I'll just do it one more time because I'm so used to doing that. And then we're going to bring in some um, terracotta tile. This is three and a half by five and a half. And the designer series paper. It's this beautiful gold that we're going to use here. This is a really quick and easy card, but we're gonna do a little coloring on it. And let me get this on here. So we're just going to add this to this layer. Oh, did I say the designer series paper is three and a quarter by five and a half? I don't know if I said that or not. Get this on here straight. And then we're going to put it right on the front of our mint macaron card. Wipe that off a little bit. Let me wipe that on my pants. You know I do that all the time. <laughs> kind of funny. Here we go. I love this color combination that she did because it's just so pretty. Now, I've got, oh, I think this is too big, you guys. Hang on. Yep, my Whisper White layer needs to be trimmed. So, hang on. We've got Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. And then I also had a three quarter inch piece of the gold foil specialty paper. So I'm just gonna take that right now and it's gonna be my little bit of embellishment on the inside of my card. Some glue coming out here. Oh, I guess I didn't trim this very good either, did I? Hmm. Well, it's been a day. <laughs> I'm gonna. There'll probably be more. I'll probably guarantee you some more mistakes. I don't want to disappoint anybody. Yeah, this is crooked. So there's my. Oh, I got it straightened out. Okay, we're gonna add this right to the inside of the card. And we're going to do a little bit of coloring. I absolutely love the big flower stamp that comes with this, this the ornate style, this one. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Okay, now, I took a scrap of Whisper White and I die cut the largest circle from the stitched shape circle dies. So we've got this. And then the scallop from the layering circle dies was die cut on gold foil and that gives us this okay so what we're going to do here is take a memento ink pad and ink up this big flower stamp oh you know what i'm going to do the whoops i'm going to do the thanks first so the thanks the words are in the ornate thanks set i'm going to do the thanks in memento black and I love that these are photopolymers so you can see through them. And I want to get this kind of as close to the top as I can. Ooh, I did really good. And then I took um, one of the greetings out of here that says, For all you do. I didn't. Haley did. When I say I, I mean Haley. <laughs> I, don't, I can't take credit for her beautiful card. Ooh, that looks really nice. Okay. And now we're going to use this flower stamp. And I want to make sure that I get that one daisy, this one daisy in there because it's so pretty. And we're only going to put a little bit of the flower in there, so make sure that I get the right part of it inked up good. And here we go. And you're just going to come in. You want to do your words first so that then you can come in with the flowers and know how much space you have left. And look at how pretty that is. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, now just wait because we're going to get some coloring going in here. And I have got, oh look, I've got all kinds of goodies sticking to my pens. I've got Old Olive Light and Dark Combo, the combo pack. And then this is the Light Calypso Coral with the Dark Cajun Craze. So I always like to start with my dark. 
And thank you guys so much. I see you guys coming in here. Thanks, thanks on the on the congrats. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to do my leaves first, and I always like to do just the lines that Stampin' Up! has provided for us in their artwork is a good place to start. You can always add more shading if you want to. I'm kind of looking at this wondering what I need to do here. You can always keep going with it. And the stems, let's see, is there any more green? I don't think so, okay. Then I'm gonna bring in the light. I missed the stem with the dark, but that's okay. And I'm gonna come in here and start blending. You see this, it's the colors on here and then on that gold specialty paper with the flower, flowers colored in like this, it's just really, really strikingly beautiful. I wish I could color and read your comments at the same time, but I can't. <laughs> That's way too much multitasking for this girl, I'll tell you that. But yeah, so we had a really exciting day, you guys. It was just so cool and gosh... What a game changer. You should have seen the outfit the lady had on yesterday. I told you about that. She looked like a beekeeper in her room. And then somebody said it looked like something out of a science fiction movie. You got that right. That is for sure. It's exactly what it looked like. It was a science fiction movie with the lady in her beekeeper suit that came in and gave Haley the... What is that? Gave Haley the um, COVID-19 test. Or, yeah, that's what it is. And she doesn't have it, so that's good, right? So we know now that she's she's safe. At least she doesn't have it. Okay, so I'm just looking at what Haley did here. And she kind of did the same thing that I like to do with these. Just put some dark marks in here. Now this is the dark Cajun craze. And again, I am just coloring or drawing over the lines that Stampin' Up! has provided that I think should be shaded. And all these little, all these little lines, blah, 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 blah. We'll see if my coloring turns out any good. I think it's going to be okay. It looks really dumb now, right? <laughs> None of these look that great when you do this part, but it's when you start doing that blending that things get so pretty. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. I might actually get off of here. I know I say this all the time and then I never do it, but I might just go to bed. I've been losing a lot of sleep lately. <laughs> I was going to make breakfast this morning, but um, we didn't have anybody for breakfast, so because somebody was already at the hospital. I know you don't know how many times you guys I wanted to come on and say, oh my gosh, she's there, blah. <laughs> yeah. Because I know everybody was excited, right? Everybody was excited. Thank you, Lisa, for answering questions for me. I really appreciate it. Yes, you guys, anybody who tuned in late, we have a baby. Her name is Valerie Lee. We're going to call her Val. And she weighed in at six pounds, two ounces. I think she was 19 and three quarter inches. She was born at, I don't know what time, sometime between 4.30 and 5 o'clock tonight, I think. Haley was in labor for 57 hours, poor thing. Yeah. The things that moms go through, right? Yep. Ooh, you know what? I think my marker is going downhill here. I've used this one a lot. This is Light Cajun Craze. I think I have another one of these, you guys. Just hang tight. This is Dark Calypso Coral. What was that? that was Light Calypso Coral. Yep, I bought a new one. Yay! Okay, I'll throw that over there. I don't want it to get mixed up. Comes a brand new marker. Oh, that feels so much better. Yeah, so these markers last a really, really long time. Like, I use these for my... Um, card buffets and stamp clubs and making tons and tons of swaps. This was actually one of the swaps that Haley made for me. So she made a bunch of these and we mailed them out. 
So one thing I like to do is just kind of go around the outside of my flowers so that I make sure I'm staying in the lines and then come in and blend everything. Then I'll come in here and color over it until it's blended. Let's see if I can figure out where my lines end here. Kind of quiet, right? Because I can't look at the look at the computer and color at the same time. I'm not that talented. <laughs> Concentrate here. And now you can just kind of color over the whole thing as long as you know that these two pieces right here I'm leaving white because I think that's in between the flowers. Okay, so I got that. The other thing I want to do here, just to make them, is this the, this is the light Cajun, this is the dark. That's what we used, right? Dark Cajun crates, yeah. Is come in and do the centers on these flowers and make those a little bit darker. And maybe that little thing right there. Oh, here's another one I missed. Okay. Now I'm going to get out the big dog. This is still the light Calypso, but I'm using the big end so that I can blend it a lot quicker. As long as I can stay in the lines and keep control over it, right? Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> this is always the scary part for me because I'm always worried I'm going to go out of the, out of bounds. Look at how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, now let's get this mounted on. Hang on, my crown is falling. Get this mounted on the gold foil scallop, which is just incredible incredibly beautiful that little bit of gold peeking out the sides there and then we're gonna bring in some dimensionals what did I do with those here we go here comes some dimensionals we're gonna put this on the back we're gonna pop this up because like why wouldn't you and comes my, what are you guys drinking tonight? I got the same old stuff. You know how I roll. <laughs> yeah. What's everybody drinking tonight? Hey, oh, I forgot to say, don't forget to share my video if you can, please. That really helps me out. You never know who in your news feed might be interested in stamping or used to stamp and maybe wants to get back into it or... Needs a new hobby now that they're home constantly, right? Okay, I'm going to put this right about here. I'm just going to center it. Make sure my, I just want my words to be straight. Okay. Woo, look how pretty that is. And then we've got a little piece of the matching ribbon. You get old olive and terracotta tile ribbon with this suite of products. And I am going to use my bow jig to make a beautiful, perfect bow. And they're perfect every single time now if you guys have never seen this it's nothing more than a piece of wood with some holes drilled in it and then some nails and it makes a perfect little bow every single time I love it I do have a video on my YouTube channel which um, shows you how to how to make the bow because I remember I, I got one of these from my friend Denise and I didn't use it. She showed me how to use it and then I didn't use it for a while and then I couldn't remember how to use it. So I kind of left it sit in a drawer for a long time because I'm like, I can't remember how to use this until I asked her to show me again. <laughs> and she did, so I made a video for it. Okay, I wanted to put on some of these gilded gems. These are so, so pretty. And I'm going to add a few of these just to bling this up a tiny little bit. These are so pretty and they go so nicely. Whoops, come back here. They go so nicely with the um, foil specialty paper and that gold foil sheet under here. Right? Look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think? I love it. Okay, last but not least. We are going to decorate our envelope flap, and I thought I'd use this really colorful paper because it matches the stamped image. This one, 
on my card front. I could have also used the, um, oh, this would have been, I'm just thinking out loud, this would have been really pretty on there too. The um, Macron gold foil paper, right? Get this pushed up a little bit. And then trim this. And I didn't have any guilt whatsoever about cutting this piece from my envelope tonight or putting that big strip down the middle of my card because I bought more of this paper. And I'm not kidding you guys. I've had several of you mention to me that you like my idea of getting two packs of the designer series paper if you like it. And that way you don't feel like you have to be chintzy and not use it, right? Look at how pretty that is. So if anybody needs to place an order, um, I always appreciate your orders. You can head right over here to my blog in the right hand column. You're going to find an online ordering button. This is my current host code. Use that code if your order is under $150, but if it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I want you to have those. But thank you so much, Haley, if you're still on here for making this gorgeous card. I absolutely love it. I think it's just striking. The colors, I would have never put these colors together, but because they're part of this suite, now I know that, oh, I can put terracotta tile with mint macaron and look at how pretty it is, right? I would have never put that together. That's what I love about Stampin' Up. They do the color coordinating for us and they kind of make us step out of our comfort zone sometimes, so to speak. Because, yeah, there's a lot of things I would have never done if they hadn't shown me what those would look like together. All right, I'm going to flip you around. We are done stamping. And, whoops, there went my magnet. Hang on. Here we are. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that card. I was really happy that I could feature something that Haley did today. Because, like, I'm going to make it Haley Day. <laughs> it's Haley Day. I, I messaged her before I went live. And I said, how's my baby doing? She laughed. Who's baby? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm not one of those moms. I'm not going to be like, I don't take over anybody. <laughs> like, oh, the, like, oh, wouldn't that be hateful? I've never had a crappy mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is really wonderful. And of course my mom's wonderful. But my mom has always been one of those people that she keeps her opinion to herself. Like she knows that so right now you might be like maybe arguing with your spouse or your husband or whatever and but she knows that next week things will probably calm down and it'll be fine again. So you can't be bad mouthing the spouse, right? And same with the kids. You need to like keep it in check, shut your mouth, let them work through their things. And um I'm not going to be a bossy grandma. Granny. Can I call my I don't know if I like granny. Haley likes gran. Graham? Graham. That's it. Because that's what she calls my mom. Graham. And I'm good with I don't care what the kid calls me, but she's going to be calling me a lot. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, Judy says she didn't get the whole story. So, Haley was in labor for 57 hours. She had the baby today at about, I don't know, has anybody, has she told the real time? Sometime almost 5 o'clock, I think. And she weighed six pounds, two ounces. She's 19 and I think three quarters inches long. And her name is Valerie. Yeah, Valerie Day. There you go, Lynette. I think that's fabulous. So Valerie was born today. And right, Mary says Haley will always be your baby, even though she is her own little lady. Yep, she's always going to be my baby. That's right. And um, so we have a baby. She's perfectly healthy. She has these cute little pouty lips. And it's so adorable. I can't wait to show you guys pictures. So I'll do that. I'll, I'll try to calm down. Oh, it's so hard. Why am I trying to calm down? So yeah, I can't wait to see her and hold her. And Haley, I'll make breakfast every day. You just tell me. I bought stuff for French toast. <laughs> and I have waffle stuff. And flour now and buttermilk for pancakes whatever you want love you bring that baby over here <laughs> or I'll bring the waffle iron to you I can certainly do that I, I can do that all next week promise and pretty soon she's gonna be like oh my gosh will my mom just go home <laughs> no I'm not like that I won't be weird like that but I can make fun of it <laughs> 
I know, Diana, so she can't wait to see the pictures. Um, yeah, Haley said that they were trying to get some good pictures to take, and I, I, I if she had anything I could share. I asked her if it was okay if I asked you guys that she had the baby. I said yes, so that was that was going to be hard if I couldn't tell you, right? Like, because you all want to know. Yeah, so she gave me the go-ahead on that, and I just, I don't want to steal her thunder. This is her baby. Well, she's a little bit mine. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> well, she is. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys, I think that is it for me tonight. And I have to say that I'm kind of mentally exhausted, but it is only 8.30. I could probably get my pictures edited. Oh, I have to take pictures of this yet, too. So I'll get that done and get my video uploaded to YouTube and all the things, maybe. Or maybe I'll just go to bed. <laughs> yeah, and Vicky says, wouldn't be able to visit if you lived here. Yeah. Well, um, she does have hair, Lisa. Um, we expected her, I don't know what they expected, but I expected her to come out looking like a little hairy monkey, according to what the doctor said, because that was one of the things they said about the ultrasound is, oh my gosh, look at all her hair. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to come out with like this <laughs> huge head of hair. But she's got quite a bit of hair. It's light though, so it doesn't look like a monkey head. <laughs> no, she's perfect. Yeah, so, yeah, I can't wait to meet her. I don't know if Haley's coming home tomorrow, if she's going to stay an extra day. Um, you know, and that's completely up to them, as long as they can. I stayed. They have really good food at the hospital that Haley's at. She was actually born there. And um, I stayed until after lunch. They said, you can go home now or you can wait till after lunch. And, oh, my gosh, the food was so good. I'm like, I'll wait till after lunch. <laughs> But I was surprised because I had heard from somebody they were only letting um, moms and babies stay in the hospital for uh, 24 hours. And so they're actually letting her stay two days if she wants to. So that's pretty cool. I think that's not a crazy thing to do at all, you know, because I don't know. You're just there, right? Something happens. I don't know. Yeah. When I got Haley home, I don't know how many days old she was. It was just a few days old. She actually rolled off my, well, she didn't roll, but I, I don't know. I must have pushed her off my bed. I had her in bed with me <laughs> and she fell off the side of the bed and she landed on the JCPenney's catalog. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, what have I done? And I scooped her up. She, she's crying. I scooped her up. She quit crying right away. I'm like, oh, she's fine. Right? Baby some bounce. <laughs> that was only one of my stupid mom moves. There were there were quite a few. But yeah, it was funny because when I got her home, I never even babysat really as a kid. I wasn't the, the, the neighborhood babysitter. I didn't really have any experience with children. I get this baby home and I have like no clue what I'm doing. Like none. No, she didn't get her nice room back either. Um, that room was full, but the room she had was, was nice. It just wasn't that great big suite. So, yeah, it was really very pretty room. I liked her doctor, too. Her actual doctor was on vacation, which is the same thing that happened when Haley was born. Her doctor was on vacation, too, so she had some other doctor, but she's really nice. Nice lady, and oh my gosh, it sounded like she had her own cheer team. Like, the doctor's, like, yelling at her, push, 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 oh my gosh, you're just... You're just like such a star at this. And she was just like, rah, rah, rah. And me and Steve are sitting at home going, oh my goodness. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. So, you know what I might do? I might take the rest of the night off and go make that Susie Q cake. That's a good idea, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jean says when she had her babies, women stayed in the hospital for three days and she thinks that was a good thing. I really do too. You know, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I was in for four days, but I had a lot of complications. So that's a whole story for another day. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna, ugh. We don't need to think about that again. But anyways, yeah. Terry says they aren't like cats and land on their feet. Nope. She fell right on that catalog. <laughs> she probably bounced when she hit it too. <laughs> I felt like just, oh my gosh, I could have probably died right there. I'm like, oh my Lord, what have I done? But I knew that when I picked her up and she immediately quit crying that she wasn't hurt, right? <laughs> She's lucky to be alive. 
No, I'm just kidding. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. You have a wonderful evening. I will see you back here tomorrow night at 7 p.m. I have absolutely no idea what we're making, but I'll come up with something, and um, it'll be fun. Thank you guys so much for all the congratulations. Thank you so much for um, the cards and Wendy. <laughs> Thank you so much for that journal. That is just the most amazing little gift. I so appreciate it. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.